Today's super cool. It's my first look and my first run of the Arma Mojave 6S. So here it is, Arma Mojave 6S, one of the best vehicles available today, bashing vehicles, allegedly. And I'm gonna be here to tell you what I think. So about six months ago, I, I got the Arma Sentin, uh, the little brother, 320 bucks, six pound vehicle, and I loved it. I was really impressed, and a lot of people said, that, if you like that, you're gonna like this. It's the best vehicle that Armas ever made. 6S, 6 pounds, 12 pounds. Instead of 3S battery, it's a 6S battery. Big battery, a lot of horsepower. Uh, 12 pounds, 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour. But really beyond that is the power, the impact of the speed that it delivers. So here it is for reference. Also have a little SCX24 just to give you an impression, an idea of the scale of this vehicle. So I'm gonna put the Sentin away. Uh, we have a review on the Arma Sentin right here. Quite impressive little vehicle. So if you wanna get started on the fast car, that is a fine choice. So what I'm gonna tell you is why you should get the Mojave. Is it worth it, you know? A lot of money. So let's go through the price. The price is 630 bucks for the ready to run. This is both of them are ready to run vehicles. All you need is your, your LiPo battery and your double A's for the transmitter. About 150 to 200 for a 6S battery. It can do 4S, but who wants to do that? You definitely want to do 6S to at least experience what you're paying for. You're paying for the, the, the power and the impact of this vehicle. So here it is. Uh, it comes with a not very good radio. It's called the STX2 uh, because they were bought by Horizon which owns what's this company Spectrum where they developed a very very low cost uh, radio for for all the vehicles. Unfortunately, they're putting the low cost radio on a missile. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a liability, but I made it a point to do all my running today with a stock radio, just, just to see if it can do how, or on how it does, and do, do you need to upgrade it uh, at all or right away? Uh, and we'll have impressions of that. So here's what I'll do. I'll go through the outside first and then jump right into the inside on what makes this vehicle special. So the outside of it is unbelievable. So much detail, so much engineering, so much flashy paint. So the paint, definitely not crazy about neon green. I should have gotten the, the red, but uh, the back order was a little slow for that. By the way, I've been waiting for this for four months. This was released exactly 12 months ago, quickly out of stock at Amain. Um, and then I finally pulled the trigger four months ago and I've been waiting, 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 and it finally came. So that's why I'm doing a review a little bit later than all the rest of the YouTubers. It's because uh, I have to buy my own kits. I'm not given uh, this because if you're given the kit, it kind of means you can't say anything negative about it. <laughs> can't be honest. <laughs> so I'm here to tell you the, the God's honest truth or the truth as I knew it. So here it is. Beautiful body, beautiful shaping, detail. Uh, it has a, an, an interior, two drivers, a cage that's actually functional. This is a real roll cage. It has no window, so you're gonna get a lot of um, wind going through the, the, the cabin. 
uh, which is wind resistance, but they put vents all over here, so it, it'll let the the, uh, the wind right through. But this is still gonna interfere with your top speed, you know. As opposed, imagine your car having no windshield. So, a couple other details. Whew, Twelve pounds. This is reinforced right here. You're gonna crush your Lexan anyway, so they put some very hard replaceable reinforcements over there. Has a little bumper here. And you're like, how's that little bumper gonna protect this? This is a gnarly vehicle. Little skid plate here. And the bumper on the rear is amazing, it's awesome. The tires are very hard to, uh, to take the power and the beating that, you, that you're gonna deliver. It's higher profile on the outside uh, to take those hits, to take those rocks. And in the inside, it's lower profile. So it's a dual profile. Higher and what that gives you is a little bit of stability uh, when you're doing your donuts or your high speed turns. Okay, so uh, the body pins are, uh, body clips are cool because they are big and they are attached. It's a little hard to to get the, the posts out of, in the holes, unlike the Senton, super easy uh, because the, the, the pins are, are always moving. It's hard to find them and they're kind of they press down, uh, they, they disappear when you press down on it. So it has Velcro here. Stabilize it, make it quiet. Inner, um, reinforced with with some, some nice tape where it's gonna get scratched, so they already thought of it. And this is really cool. This is that roll cage I was talking about, that's how it's really functional. So to prevent the, the cabin from collapsing, your driver's getting injured, or just everything getting messed up. They have a cage here, and this thing, has some spring to it, absorb shock, and it is captured right here, right to the chassis. Amazing, huh? And really, the magic of this vehicle is probably the, the strongest vehicle in the Arma line. Not, be, not just because of the engineering, but because of the shock, shock absorption. This thing is a big, giant shock absorber. So the body right there, you know, short course trucks, they, they take a hit, they dissipate the energy, and they make it disappear. Dissipate, dissipate disappear. And this is all about dissipating energy. So right here, where your body goes, uh, a lot of flex built in. Anytime you see a loop, what that's meant to do is meant to act like a spring. It's probably about half inch on travel, front and rear. So not just one little contact point, but a wide contact point with foam. And this whole thing is a spring. Over here, this bumper is, is a big shock absorber. These two loops, those are springs. So you can see when you press on it, that thing will move millimeters uh, and take the hit. This thing, not just a handy handle, but it, it captures the, the Lexan and, and, and it'll, it'll flex every which way to dissipate energy. Same thing with the rear, up and down, and this rear bumper. You could, basically, how energy works is if you get two forces colliding at 30 miles an hour, with no give whatsoever, one of them's gonna break. Uh, but if you get them to, to dissipate the energy, uh, the energy just kinda goes away and the two structures are left more intact, okay? So, let's see, the A-arms are incredible, incredibly beefy, arm is famous for that, that's not gonna break. Uh, has three differentials, front, center, and rear. Uh, they have diff fluid, I believe 100,000, 10,000, 10,000. So a little less give here, meaning it will, it will do its four wheel drive, but a 10,000, you know, it has a little bit of resistance, um, but it's, it's, it's got quite a bit of give as well. Um, so it keeps, this, keeps it stable, tracking straight on, on full power. The, uh, the shocks probably are some of the best things about Armas. And they're so well tuned, amazing, amazing, huh? That travel and how smooth it is. It has a big, what do you call this, structural bar right there to keep the chassis intact. You know, all the shocks, the the body, they uh, they rest on these two towers, and these two towers are held together by this big bar. Another another one here. Let's see. It has Arma Electronics. It has a 15 kg servo. 15 kg is uh, not that powerful, maybe, I don't know, 150, 200 ounces. 
and but unlike a crawler it doesn't need quite as much power because it's not jammed up whenever it's moving you know the the tires are free to move granted the tires are a lot bigger 15 kg it struggles a little bit it slows down even more uh, when it's not moving that much and the other uh, side effect this is not that fast that one you need more on a fast car because you're going 30 you want to change direction be nice if the thing will be almost telepathic right it has a uh, this motor 2050 kV so pretty fast motor and this ESC with a big fan uh, I, someone said it was a, a, a private labeled hobby wing which could be good I wonder if it's programmable switches right here I wish the motor had a heat sink or a fan it does run hot but the Senton had a heat sink a nice little heat sink so there you go battery huge compartment for the battery has this massive cable I don't know why there's so much cable I think you could put two 3S batteries if you are if you don't have a single 6S but here you go so 630 bucks 150 bucks or 200 so now you're doing 830 you need a charger 900 so boom quickly you're at 900 really a thousand if you're gonna get into this kind of vehicle so is it worth it if you have the funds and more important you have the skill and the space I think it's worth it I mean it uh, it 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 really is redefining the category on how much speed and impact a vehicle has but also how much control easy control my first day with it I only hit rocks big boulders twice and that's because I wasn't looking also the uh, the the the, the brake the braking is kind of kind of weak steering is a little slow but it's plenty good I mean I had so much fun just even on the first battery pack the other thing you need to do is you gotta have the space you gotta have the space for this where you're not gonna hurt anybody where you uh, it, where it's uh, dirt preferably and hopefully there's there's some some obstacles some jumps uh, where you could let this thing fly so it's kind of the summary the um, you know first impression the, the three the the Senton is kind of a, a, a nice toy but this thing is a beast <laughs> it's no 8s or it's no fifth scale but man it's exactly what I want you know ground pounding excitement uh, so to speak and really the body uh, is able to handle what the motor can dish out uh, so definitely go, go for 6s uh, you can always tune down your uh, electronics if you don't want the full power of it right away so what we're gonna do with it uh, we'll do this first video uh, and then we're gonna do the next video where we'll give it the full rundown beat beat up on it really do some jumps with it you know do the full review and then we're gonna upgrade it RC review we gotta upgrade it right what are we gonna upgrade it with well not the battery that's already done we'll put a fan we will put a this sweet easy run hobby wing 150 amp per 8 scale max 8 and the 4274 and we'll see what we gain out of it you know do we gain more control a little more modulation this is thing this thing's kind of wild you know when once you once you gas it it just just wants to go it doesn't want to go slow <laughs> wondering if i can get more control so we'll see and the next thing we're going to upgrade servo and get a real radio on it a radio with almost uh, more than a half mile three quarters mile of range so we never go out of range something very fast something that we can see the voltage uh, of that battery so we know how how uh, how much fun we can still have uh, and also servo uh, we ha I have a ton of good servos now not only high power servos but fast servos and see what it does and we'll do some AB comparison and let you know uh, which of these upgrades are worth it and um, which one you should do first and then finally we'll do a shootout we'll, we'll put it up against the, the Traxxas UDR uh, uh, low C desert truck uh, whatever, whatever we can get our hands on that's what RCV is all about 
So please enjoy the running video and if you are interested in this vehicle, get it now uh, because Black Friday is coming or Amazon Prime, Black Friday and Christmas, it's going to go out of stock again. Mark my word, hobbying is very popular right now and this is one of the most popular vehicles available today. But uh, for my first impression, I was floored and hope you are too with the running video. Enjoy. Ha <laughs> ha. 